James chapter 4 verse 14 everybody read with me one to go whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow for what is your life it is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanisheth away I want to show you something and then I will pray for some people now that life is just like a vapor that appears for a little while and then vanishes. And so while you have breath in your nostrils, you have to utilize it. Kind of fun she's having. She just falls down, collapse, and she's dead. Who would have thought that she was gonna die? She was in a perfect condition. She was very healthy. I don't think she knew that she was gonna die that day. I don't think anybody saw that coming. What I want you to take from this video is that this life is very short. Our life is like a flower quickly fading here today and gone tomorrow. A wave tossed in the ocean. We are nothing before God. This life is not yours. You didn't choose the day that you were born, and neither will you choose the day you will die. Death will come for all of us someday. I want to ask you, if you die this very day, where are you going to spend eternity? Are you going to be in heaven, or are you going to be in hell? This life is only a gift that God has given to us, and what we do with it is our gift back to God. Remember this, and leave each day as if it is your last, and one day you will surely be right. Shalom. You have today. Yesterday has gone. You only have today. Tomorrow you don't have. You don't know what it may bring about. If you are here this night, God is presenting an opportunity to you to surrender your life to Him. Do not say tomorrow because you don't know what tomorrow may bring about. But when Jesus is in your life, you are confident about tomorrow. Bow your heads in prayers. I want to pray for anyone here now that will say, man of God, pray with me. I want Jesus in my heart. I want to prepare for eternity. I want to pray for you. If you're upstairs, stand up. If you're outside, stand up. If you're at overflow outside, stand up. Overflow upstairs, stand up. And you're inside here, please stand Though you are supposed to be standing and you are sitting down, you are not doing yourself a favor. God bless you. God bless you. I'm seeing more people standing. You know you are supposed to give your life to Christ now and you are not standing. You are not fair to yourself. You are not doing yourself a favor at all. God bless you. See more people standing. This might be the last, the last opportunity. When you meet opportunities like this, don't joke with it. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. This is one thing God hid from everybody. Sometimes when people are 24 hours away from eternity, but they don't know, they are jumping up and down, thinking they are enjoying life. But once in a while, God presents a golden opportunity like this to see if he will use it. 
And you are thinking, I say, have 30 years, 50 years, not knowing that it's less than 24 hours, or less than one week, or less than one month. And that opportunity may not come again. Keep coming. I'm still waiting for you. Now. One, two, three. Hurry up. Jesus to have mercy on you. Pray for yourself now. The prayer of a sinner God hears readily is, have mercy on me sinner, O Lord. Forgive me. The Bible says the prayer of a sinner is abomination unto God. You are praying for prosperity. You are praying for blessing. You are praying for this or the other one. You are just provoking God. But that prayer of a sinner God we hear immediately is, have mercy on me sinner, O Lord. Forgive me. Come into my life. He will quickly hear. And when he hears this one, then he will hear the rest. Put your hand on your chest. Repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I come to you today as a sinner that deserves no mercy. Please forgive me. Come into my life and be my Lord and my savior satan i denounce you today i declare and i decide for jesus in jesus name amen father please cancel their names in the book of death and transfer their names into the book of life give them the power to live for you now in jesus name amen